What's going on friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com to talk about a brand new series, mini-series hitting HBO called Sharp Objects. The book uh, came out in 2006, written by Jillian Flynn. Uh, you may be familiar with her work. I actually read one of her books, Gone Girl, which was also the 2014 David Fincher film, which I really loved and I thought was probably Ben Affleck's last really good performance in the film. One of the writers for Cinefellas, Kevin Mueller, has been really hyping up this TV show, he just finished the book, he was telling me about it, so I gave it a chance. The series just premiered on HBO and I just checked out the pilot episode. So let's talk about it, shall we? So we're introduced to Camille Preaker, played by Amy Adams, huge Amy Adams fan. Uh, she has been in so many great films. I think she's such an underrated actress. She's really capable of a lot of different roles that we've seen. And uh, she plays a reporter from St. Louis, Missouri. She's given the job to go back to her hometown in this small town in Missouri to investigate and report on a death of a young teenager and the missing girl. She's on the fence about going back to the small town, it, you know, like most of us can relate, me especially, you know, growing up in a small town and everything that goes into living in a small town, the gossip and rumors and just, you know, a lot of bad memories. So she's kind of cautious about going back. She wants to stay, you know, in the bigger city of St. Louis, but, you know, she eventually makes her way back to the small town. And we're given a glimpse of her character uh, she chain smokes Parliament cigarettes, she eats candy bars, she drinks all the time, like all day, every day. She has all these small little like uh, bottles of vodka that you get on an airplane, she just drinks those while driving. And, and Camille shows up at her mother's house, the house that she grew up in. Her mother's played by Patricia Clarkson, you can tell that they do not have a great relationship, there's a lot of conflict there. So Camille's sister passed away at a young age and there's like a flashback of her being at her sister's funeral. and her like freaking out and like clawing at the, the body, the corpse, and just trying to comprehend everything and not let her sister go, you know, she's dead. And it really traumatized her and it really, I, you know, I think it was the starting point of her mental issues. I really don't know because I didn't read the book, but just from this episode, you can see that this probably caused a lot of tension within the family with Camille and her, her mother, Adora. Maybe that, you know, Camille had something to do with the death of her sister. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of unresolved issues that they still have with one another in the adult years, in an older age. Another aspect of the show, Adora is not too fond of Camille showing back up, investigating and reporting on this murder and the missing girl because it's going to stir up the pot, starting rumors and things like this in the small town. Everybody knows each other. feels like there's a lot of darker elements in the small town that we're going to see in the future episodes. With that being said, you know, the first episode of Sharp Objects, it really has my attention. I was really looking forward to it. The trailers look really phenomenal. Um, you know, this first episode is a little bit of a slow burn. They're trying to build up the story and these characters and trying to show what's going on with Camille and her showing up in this town, her reporting on these two girls. Her mental state, you know, it's not looking the greatest. She definitely has some mental issues, maybe from her, her sister or just from her past of growing up in this town and traumatic experiences she came across with people living in that town or her family or mother. Um, we don't know yet but it's gonna be really interesting to see how that all unravels in the next seven episodes. And I think it's really gonna pick up. So if you haven't seen it, definitely give it a shot. You know, it's, like I said, it's a little bit of a slow burn, but hang in there, it gets a lot better. It's a really cool shot at the very end of the episode with Amy Adams uh, drinking in the, the tub, like she always does, getting blackout drunk. And uh, all I say is the word vanish. So I think it's really symbolic of her character and what happened to her past. Overall, I had a really great time in the first episode of Sharp Objects. It's directed by Jean-Marc Vallée. He directs all eight episodes of the series, which is kind of weird. We don't see that too often today in TV shows. He directed Big Little Lies, which was also another great show. So overall, I'm gonna give Sharp Objects the first episode titled Vanish a four out of five hair pieces. <laughs> if you guys have watched the first episode of Sharp Objects titled Vanish, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Have you read the book by Jillian Flynn? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from Wingap, Missouri. Until next time, cheese!